Number 105, describe the molecular structure around the indicated atom or atoms, and then we have the oxygen atom in hydrogen peroxide, which is HOOH. Okay, so we want to find out the molecular structure, and whenever they want you to find out a molecular structure, the easiest thing to do is to draw the Lewis structure. You can get a lot of um, answers out of the Lewis structure, and molecular geometry or molecular structure is one of them. So just take a second and try to draw the Lewis structure for hydrogen peroxide, which is HOOH. Now we've done tons of problems dealing with how to draw Lewis structure step by step. So if you do need more guidance, you could always go back to those. This will be kind of like a quick inversion. You could also pause the video and see if your Lewis structure matches mine. Now here, the way that they drew it, HOOH, it seems like we're drawing the Lewis structure from left to right. The backbone is a hydrogen, that's next to an oxygen, that's next to another oxygen, that's next to a hydrogen. Okay, now remember that hydrogens can only make one bond, so the, the bond between H and O have to be a single bond, and then the oxygen had six valence electrons, so if we give the oxygen a single bond between the two O's, that would be two electrons that they used up, and there would be four left over. So one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and now the oxygens have the octet rule, right? Two, four, six, eight, and two, four, six, eight. So we're good. Okay, so this is the Lewis structure. Now from here, we could find out the molecular structure. And they specifically only wanted the hybrid, not the hybridization, but the molecular structure of the oxygen. But if I look at it, these two oxygens, they're completely identical because they both have two lone pairs and two single bonds. So it doesn't really matter which one I talk about. Maybe I can just group it together by just saying, okay, we could do both of these, right? Or maybe we'll do just one. Now, here is a handy dandy chart to get you familiar with knowing all the molecular geometries. Your teacher or professor may give this to you on your test or quiz, but maybe you might have to memorize it. But it's as easy as just putting them in their pairs or their boxes. So the first thing you always want to do is find out the total number of atoms and lone pairs around that atom that you're talking about. And in this case, it's the oxygen. So how many atoms are bound to this oxygen? Well, I have the hydrogen and I have the other oxygen. So I have two atoms. And now I have one and two lone pairs. And the same would be for the other oxygen. It has two atoms, one and two, and two lone pairs. Now, for always find out the total number. So for two plus two, I'm looking at a total of four. So I go down to my number four, which is right here. And now I just have to decide whether this is specifically tetrahedral Trigonal pyramid or trigonal pyramidal or bent. Usually, usually they just say bent, not really angular. But that all comes from the lone pairs. Well, you have zero lone pairs, one or two. And in this case, we have two lone pairs on that atom. So four and two, bada bing, bada boom, you're talking about a bent molecular geometry or molecular structure. Nobody really uses that angular. So this would be bent. Um, and that's it. If you wanted to know the bond angles, it's 109.5. Uh, it's actually a little less. In this one, they say 109. Some teachers or professor might say 109.5. Um, I learned 109.5 when I was learning chemistry. And when you're bent, the angles are a little bit less than 109. I think it's like 105, 104.5. KTU. These numbers always make me think of radio stations, but that's, that's just my brain in a nutshell. Um, but yeah, so this is bent. That's the molecular structure. You can say it for both uh, oxygens because they're identical. And that's the end of this video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Click the subscribe button if you want to help us out. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard and always keep learning. 
All right, you guys got this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.